Everybody remembers you being drafted 10 years ago, being in the green room, how upset you were. But yet you made the all-star team. You know, you're now a contender for the championship. Share with me that emotional roller coaster that you personally have experienced in the NBA. Being in that green room, I felt like my dream was being shattered right in front of my eyes. Like it was taking it right up under, from underneath my feet. And now I'm questioning myself, can I make it? make the team or will I survive in the NBA if I'm not getting picked by none of these teams and maybe I'm not good enough and I think that was the scariest part. You're an interesting guy. You got a racehorse that's in the Kentucky Derby. Tell me how that came about. Actually the first horse we bought joined in the dance. Uh, as soon as we bought him he went out and won his very next race. They say in the horse racing business people have been in it for 10, 20 years and never ran in the Kentucky Derby. And that's a tough race to be in, so you'll get lucky if you do get in it. And we in it for two years, two, three years, and joining the dance qualifiers for the Derby. You've also had some very trying times and some very tough emotions. Your little girl during the All-Star break acquired a virus and got sick. How difficult has that been on you personally to stay focused? It was very difficult. Actually, the, the organization didn't know. A lot of people on my team, team didn't know. But you can tell in my play, my play was going down. I wasn't into the game. You know, coach pulled me to the side and called me his office one day and told me, you know, what's, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, nothing, nothing wrong. We just got to get better as a team. It's like, nah, something's wrong with you personally. Uh, I don't see that fire in your eyes no more. You know, after I sat down and talked to him, then I finally let, let the organization, the coaching staff, know that my little girl was sick. She was in and out of the hospital, having a fever for over 29 days. But I think it really was a blow uh, when I found out about my brother having cancer. This is just way heavy on your mind and on your heart to know that family is not healthy. And uh, I think that's the most important thing is you got to take care of family before anything else. And it just really took a toll on me at the time. You mentioned Coach Van Gundy's concern about you personally. When you see him on the sideline, he looks like a firecracker. Oh, yeah. But Talk to me about the sensitive side of the guy who coaches you. Uh, a lot of people don't see the, the other side of Stan Van Gundy. And he was pulling me aside as a person, not talking to me as a basketball player while I wasn't performing on the court to help us win ball games at the top of my level. He was looking at me in my eyes and know something was wrong. And he wanted to make sure I was okay as a person. What is it that you have to do in order to beat Cleveland? We got to match their energy at jump ball. Seem like they come out out of the gates, and you know it's almost like a shock to us. Like they're moving faster than us. They're hitting us before we hit them. And if we can make it a ball game in the first half, then hopefully we can continue to play like we have been playing in the second half. Do you guys have the confidence to win this thing? All of it. We feel like we're a good team. We feel like we have the coaching staff and the players to, you know, win the NBA championship. It's just us going out there and competing for 48 minutes. When you get that window of opportunity to win the NBA championship, you gotta, I learned over the years that you have to take advantage of it now, at that time. You can't wait because it may not come again.